What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So it's been a while since I actually played. Today was maintenance day and uh, yeah, we're just kind of seeing what's up. Um, yeah, so don't really know what to expect. There's still Christmas music for some reason. Welcome to 2019. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday, Christmas and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so let's just check out what's up in... Uh, yesterday I just kind of like went to do stuff. I think we have some scrolls to do today Also, one thing I forgot to mention if you want to run some comma scrolls with me they're awaken stuff uh, Join my discord link will be in the description and when I announce that I'm like doing stuff I'll let you guys know so if you guys want to join as well hopefully for the quest that everyone got their free box of either boss gear or stuff um, hopefully you guys got something good. When I opened mine, I got another often box, so I don't really know what character I want to open that on. But, uh, yeah, we just got an extra often box. I was thinking about putting it on my archer, but then, I don't know. Check the pearl shops. Ooh, golden hedgehog. That is shiny AF. Oh, wow. Um, so yeah, hedgehog, if you like gathering... Might be something to look into. If you don't like gathering, don't bother. The heck is this? Does Dark Knight have something? Oh my god, that is bright. Ew, what's that? That seems like it's not really great for combat. <laughs> Just trip on the thingy. Now that one is cool. The male version is cooler than the female version. That's cool. I like that one. Uh... Black Spirit Emojis a Loyalty Hat. I'm pretty sure I got one last year. So apparently they're introducing this in the game. Like emojis, we all know what they are, but I have them now. <laughs> Can't say I really care too much. I don't even talk to my guildies half the time. Oh, of course it goes in. It's not a pearl item, and it goes into your random inventory. Well, I'm about to get sent. Ooh, package. Uh, send this to the island, and we'll probably never get it back. Cause the funny thing is, out if I wanted to send it back out here, I'd have to pay for it. I <laughs> like no silver. Um, so yeah, I just kind of dump random stuff they give me there. You know what's weird? I don't know if this is intended, but if you look, look at my character now. If you wear the hat, you're like, your hair turns blue. Is that normal? I don't, that's, that can't be normal. It's like a whole new character. All right, anyway, um, what we're going to be doing today is probably, let me see, do I have anything here? Just got a lot of scrolls and stuff. No bosses coming up. Should probably get some of these. Uh, I'm still trying to save up for a tongue grad. I know a lot of people have been selling their concentrated magics. I've been trying to snipe them. No success. Otherwise, I probably would have shown you. There's actually Tet Whale Molars sitting on the market. And if I had, like, the money to buy this, I definitely would. Because this is just straight up better than a tri tongue grad. Except it's, I think, a little bit more expensive. People are pre-ordering tri tongue grads for a little under $4 billion. 
and the extra 100 health. I don't know if it's worth. Anyway, uh, let's go check. Is there anything else on the market worth, uh... Tet and Ark sitting there. No one wants them. That feels bad. Oh, man. I just... If I had the money, I would 100% buy these. But it's kind of expensive. All right. So let's go head down to... Grana. Because I have some scrolls that I want to run. Uh, I have a lot of relics from this, like few weeks of AFK fishing while I've been doing other stuff. But yeah, patch notes today weren't really that exciting. I always thought about like, should I make patch notes videos? And just like give you my thoughts and opinions, but then again, it's like everyone else does it, so it's like it's not special. And I figured it'd just be a waste of time, so instead, we could just talk about what was new instead. And this week, there was pretty much nothing. There's this one like build your own snowman event. You like it's collect three pieces, we all know, collect three pieces, combine it into an item, get a prize. That was pretty much the highlight of the week. Um, the archer event is still going on, like the tag system. Level up your archer, you get to level up another character at the same pace. So, yeah, that's a thing. Overall, like, other servers are getting the new market. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of that before. Um, right now on the test server, there's like a new market system. I'm not really going to go into too much details. If you want to learn about it, you can read about it or just watch other videos from the server. Um, but yeah, I I would like to say it's a good change, but I no one really knows until it actually hits the live servers. So people are speculating within a month or so, NAEU is going to get it and see how it goes. But yeah, all that really matters to me is trying to get more AP, just get gear upgrades in general, and then we're happy. So right now we're sitting at 261. Uh, if we get a Tritungrad, we'll be at 263. Our next break point would be 265. So after that, I don't even know. Like, once I get technically soft cap, plus their dandies at pen, that put us at 263. I don't know. What do people go for afterwards? Like, assuming you had a tet dandy, or like you just hit soft cap, obviously your next goal is pen. Um, but after that, I don't know if I should go for another pen or try to get an accessory. Because I kind of, this may sound weird, but I kind of want a Pen Nuber over a Pen Zarka right now. Because, I don't, hold on, let me see if it's... Okay, so, there's been one fiery Nuber sold. This is why I want a pen. Um, the stats are the same as just a regular pen. However, look at the additional effect. You get it from the Garmoth Heart, and you just get 150 health, max stamina, special evasion, special attack evasion rating up. So the 150 health is great. I don't know if it's like five billion silver great from pre-orders. But, uh, yeah, that's why I'd want a pen. Plus, it's a uh, three extra AP, so can't really go wrong with that. Whereas, if I got a pen Zarka, it's only for main hand. So. 
So yeah, my goal for 2019 is to try to push 270 AP. Um, I know like some people could do that in what a month, maybe two months. It's probably going to be an entire year project for me because my enhancing is worse than yours. So <laughs> just have to play that ga the game that much longer. But I mean, I have to stack so it's like every what a few billion silver I can probably do another attempt for it. But I don't know. Like when it comes to accessories. I feel like just saving up the silver to pre-order is probably overall better. You spend more money most likely, but you save yourself the headache of not blowing up stuff. But yeah, as of right now we just need more mem frags. Uh, we got a lot of scrolls to run. Done eventually. So this may be the boring part of the thing where, well, actually, this entire thing was pretty uninteresting. But we gotta do it. Gotta run scrolls, the usual. But yeah, at some point I'll be running uh, Awakened Comma Scrolls and stuff, so join my Discord once again. If you want to just leech off them too, I don't mind. If you have some too, great. If not, it's not a big deal. Grana. Oh, we hear the Christmas music again. I thought Christmas was over. Probably another week of this. Oh, we still have some quests to do here. Let me see. Um... Actually, we could do those. Camping? No, that's not it. I don't know where it is. Um. Apparently that was, I don't know, there was like a Kama Sylvia side quest thing that I just never did. Maybe that was limited time, I don't know. That was most likely a limited thing then, because I am not seeing it. Alright, so we have a lot of scrolls that I've just been saving up. Alright. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. How many more do I have? Like, I think I have at least nine scrolls. All right, so that is 40. Then you got three more. You guys get to listen to Christmas music while we do this. Alrighty, nine scrolls. You know, surprisingly, like when everyone got their free uh, boss gear box, I thought there was gonna be more like muskins sitting on the market and red nose, but apparently people need them. But everyone and their mom has a often weapon now because box gave it. And I, at least 300 new people got a Bell's Heart, I'm pretty sure. I still need to get it, but it's like, when it comes to Bell's Heart, I do want it, but I feel like the longer I wait, it's just gonna get cheaper, because every week more people get it. So if I just be patient, then I'll get it eventually. So in terms of our next enhancing session, I don't know when that's going to be. I need to collect a lot more sharps and stuff. And then we'll, then we'll enhance again. But as of now, we are low on materials. And sharps are not easy to get right now. Or actually, they've never been easy to get. But now is especially worst time. All right, welcome back. Sorry about that. Uh, if you saw an edit in the video, it's because I had a phone call. I had to take that, and we're good. Just had to make sure everything was okay. All right, time to run scrolls. Sorry if this is going to be the most boring thing you've ever seen. I don't particularly enjoy running relic scrolls, but you got to do it if you want memfrags. It'll be worth it one day when we all get when I enhance again. You guys enjoy it. Right now, I think I'm pretty low on memfrags and stuff. Only have about 70 plus another 44 from the auras I've already got in my box. I can only get it once. I still think this costume is my favorite. Even though it doesn't really show your weapon on your back. I don't know if that was intended or not, but whatever.
Yay, one down, eight to go. Did we even get a free memfrag out of that one? Nope, feels bad. So I'd assume at the end we should ideally end up with at least 50 memfrags in this. That's cool. I still like, for all of you who play, well, I think a lot of, I'm not sure how many classes have had uh, this exact costume, but it's like, your weapon is not supposed to show on your back, right? Oh dang, someone hit a Tet Bassy belt. I heard with the new market, I feel like Basilisk belts are gonna go down in price. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, the market, I don't know how to explain this in like a short amount of time, but the re like marketplace is gonna get revamped. And instead of pre-orders, eh, you kinda, it's more or less everything is getting pre-ordered. There is no bid phase. Um, unless something is sitting on the market, like there's a lot of it, then you just buy it. But um, I don't really know how to explain it. I Something you're gonna have to watch a like 20 minute video for it to make sense. But how do I do this? TLDR, new market change. We don't know when it's coming to NAEU yet, but uh, some other servers have it and um, so basically if you want to sell a weapon or like not weapon just anything in general um, you sell it to the market and you get silver instantly then the market sells the weapon or whatever item and let's say I think you get more out of it for example if I were to sell my pen dandy the market right now is like eight bill from what you would get. Um, if there's none on the market, it goes up in price, but it still has a hard cap. So let's, for example, I don't know what the price is gonna be, 20 billion. You would probably get more later on with the new market. However, if you were to try to buy it, it has set prices. Like it gives you an option between five, um, five choices you can sell it obviously you can sell it at the highest price and if you were to try to buy it you put an order in so instead of just like sniping an item on the market or pre-ordering it um you just put in an order and then you wait in line it's kind of like put in order wait in line then you it just kind of appears in your mail like a pre-order would Dang, three scrolls, only one free frag. Unlucky. So, in terms of like sniping, or not sniping, but like getting an item, I feel like it might be harder. However, if you are selling, you make more money. So, I don't exactly know how the details work completely, because it's not out but from the videos I've seen. That's kind of how they explained it to me. Also, I see a lot of people doing this. If you, well, like, I'm pretty sure this goes for every class, but more specifically for Dark Knights. If you are trying to C swap, don't C swap like this. Animation cancel like that. It gives you a frontal guard, and it's faster. So, or obviously, if you can swap it into like something else and an airstrike cancel it, that's better. But this is what not to do. Don't C swap like that. If you're gonna C swap, try to cancel it. And it just saves that split second while gives you a guard or frontal. Wow. 
one free memfrag and four. That's pretty unlucky. In terms of, a lot of people have been asking me for like Dark Knight rotations and like combos. There really isn't one. Um, there are like openers and stuff. Like, if you want to, if you're fighting another person, let's say that elk is something, you can start. You can just gap close it and jump in with an airstrike, but that doesn't really do too much damage. It's really situational. I feel like Dark Knights are one of those classes where it's kind of situational what you do. Um, so I can't really give you anything if you're strategy if you're fighting mystics and strikers is just to V, escape, and change channels, but aside from that, they can be fine for the most part. If you're fighting an evenly matched player, you're probably going to lose as a Dark Knight, because this game balance is probably one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life, but it's okay. You play what you want, just have fun with the game. I pretty much consider Dark Knights near the bottom. Still get dumped on by Valkyries as well because they're tanky. We all meme on Valkyries, but in like a 1v1, they're still pretty good. Five for free frags. And your bomb skills, it doesn't, I know people do different ones, like for the Corrupt Ground or the Wrath of a Deer. I know some people choose the Shadow Strike just because it's a range attack. I chose the Wrath of a Deer instead just because it has a super armor. It, like ultimately, both skills are not great in terms of damage output. It's more like filler skills you use if you want to, uh, if, like everything else is on cooldown you're good at using at least like 14 seconds like if you can use all your 14 of your skills or something in a short time and those are the only ones left to use that so uh either one is fine to be honest i think uh the obsidian blaze is something that's just significantly better than the other one like, uh, obviously you want the super armor, so this should be a reason why you get it. This one technically does more damage, but who cares? Super armor is better. <laughs> and the other one is, I've seen people get either or. But I just like the, uh... Wrath of the Deer one a little bit more instead of the Shadow Strike. Like, I've tested this in PvP. Obviously, damage is reduced, but I mean, 1400 damage is like nothing to soft cap players. And even if someone is like 200 DP, it's like it does no damage. So, might as well just have the free super armor on it. Something that you can learn to do is if you were to mouse. This one is my. Uh, this is your C normally. I don't know, some people like seeing this. I think it's just kind of a cluster. This is C, space bar, and then like, I don't know. I just feel like if you don't have the same exact layout, there's no point in showing it. Bravo. 
Hey, we got a free one. Two more. Let's go. Every time I play a class with a grab, I kind of just forget to use it because this <laughs> is like. You're not used to. Uh, I've been playing Dark Knight for so long that I'm just used to not having a grab. No, not my horse. No memfrag out of that one. Dude, this is unlucky. Can we at least get three out of nine? I found out that, like, hitting your slanted balance is one of the hardest things to do. But if you can successfully land a slanted balance, you there's a good chance you can kill your enemy. But hitting... Getting a good hit is probably the hardest part. In terms of priority skills to get for Unawakened up to Absolute, Lunacy of Vidir, Wheel of Fortune should be your number one, number two. Priority. Um, that slanted balance is good, but you don't really need it until late game. That's a PvP skill. Ravage Rake is something that's just kind of like a filler as he left in space. That's what it is. It doesn't really do much damage. We're kind of leveling it up now, but uh, to be honest, I don't. It's kind of a weird skill, you left click and then space. Hey, we got a Memphre, I got a 3 out of 9, hell yeah, let's go. Alright, so let's see, the total we should end with is probably between 45 and 50. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, that was pretty bad, actually. Holy. Usually you get between four to five for each. I think I got like nine, 34 divided by. <laughs> yeah, I averaged like four each, that's pretty horrible. All right, so with that said, I think that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys a little bit later.